Hello everyone, I'm Bunny Tails, and welcome to the channel, or welcome back. Today we're going to be watching the sequel to Gremlins, Gremlins 2. I watched and reacted to the first Gremlins movie some months back. It was one of the most hilarious things I've ever seen. I absolutely loved it, and I have been really excited to watch this sequel since then. I don't know how it's going to be in comparison to that one. I just looked up the release dates of each. This one came out I believe six years after the first one. I don't know if we're going to be seeing any of the same characters, any of the same actors, or how closely this is going to tie to the story of the first one, but I am excited because there's going to be gremlins. So thank you guys for joining me and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. All right, gremlins 2, the new batch. Wonder if Gizmo will be in this one. Probably, right? I hope so. Wonder if we'll be going back to that same shop. Seems like we're in a, like a Chinatown area, kind of like the first movie. Though instead of a struggling inventor, we have some some guys that look a little bit more wealthy. Hey, there he is. Daniel Clem, I'd like to speak to you. Did they bring a whole TV and VCR? I'm prepared to increase my offer substantially. So I develop the biggest buildings in New York. Oh, they want to bulldoze his building? The uh, Clamp Chinatown Center, where business gets oriented. <laughs> <laughs> this building will be state-of-the-art, from the voice-activated elevators, and I'd hate to see you miss out. <laughs> Why is he touching stuff and breaking stuff? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, please tell Mr. Clamp that the answer is still no. <coughs> Gizmo said, yeah, that's right. Keep the TV. No need to throw a tantrum. <coughs> Rambo! Survive a war. You gotta become war. Television again. I... Ay yeah. Did you hear that cough? He's an antique. We can wait. <laughs> the death of Mr. Wing removes no! the last obstacle to developer Daniel Clamps must now make way for the future. Daniel Clamps style. Oh no. Where is his, his grandchild or whatever? That one kid. Oh his mom. He's all alone and sad. Aww. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> I love it already. If you want to find something weird, you have to go downtown. Is that Augustus Glump all grown up? He was just kind of rattled. Well, I guess having a bunch of little monsters drive a snowplow through your living room could kind of do that to you. They're all grown up. Is that Billy and what's the name? I don't know. At least we could afford to get a decent place to live married oh it's good to see them dig i'm liking the continuity here whoa they <laughs> that's a lawsuit waiting to happen they don't even check to see if he's okay must happen all the time around here just another day the office one man's dream became a <laughs> reality. Their hat. i hope you enjoyed today's tour and billy you're so good at your job sooner or later they're bound to notice maybe then we can get married Aw, but her hair. I'm, it's going to take getting used to. It's almost finished. It'll be better with the trees. But the shrubbery Billy, looks so good. This attitude doesn't work for me. It looks like somebody hasn't read his employee manual. Unauthorized potted plant. I spoke to him about that plant weeks ago. What's this? That's my hometown. Do you know how much the Clamp organization has spent art by recognized artists what is that this is just what i don't need right now i would hate to work there listen marla i am doing the best that i can do better i like her glasses though clap center is the most advanced smart building in america oh she works here too well yeah they came to work together duh <laughs> but this is what she does the clap cable network is located right here in the building the attack of the octopus people and boy, is it scary. Where's the moan? 
A what? A moan. There is supposed to be a moan here. Sorry, Fred. Can somebody find a tape with a hey, moan? Hey, Fred. Listen, I heard about your new time slot. People who watch TV at 3.30 in the morning aren't scared of the wolf, man. Oh. Hey, oh, hey, watch it with that thing, will you? Isn't that great? Oh, sure it is. Oh, poor guy. This isn't what I had in mind. I went into broadcasting. I thought I was going to do news. Something meaningful. You know, Fred, you should run something a classic horror movie. I like love Frankenstein. Or... You look so good, though. All the great horror movies are in black and white. Mm. Mr. Clamp only likes color. Have you seen him? Well, no, not in person. Hmm, that's interesting. There's a research laboratory upstairs. Splice of life. Designer jeans. Can I help you? Hmm. I can sign for it. What kind of stuff do they do in there anyway? We're not supposed to talk about it. It's you! Ugh. Oh, splendid. This must be my malaria. What? <laughs> oh, good. My just malaria. Rabies. Oh, just rabies. And I'm supposed to get the flu this week. <laughs> Could I have that, Peggy? Casper, I have this tissue analyzed. Shouldn't you be wearing gloves and stuff? Shouldn't everybody be wearing protective Enjoy. gear? There's a cow! Martin? With a brain helmet! How's the cloning work coming along? Really well, Doctor. Ah, oh, It is a Gustus Glum. That's what I need! I need a clone of myself. Then I could do reactions faster. I have to have the clone do all the editing. Push all the unfun stuff to her. Cute, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, watch this, Doctor. They roll all night. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm willing to pull a broad tonight because I'm ready. I feel like that should have been a gif. Like those two going in unison back there and then Gizmo in the front just. <laughs> My little friend, we'll just have to cut you. No, you don't. He said, oh, hell no. That music, where did you hear it? I was up in that uh, laboratory, you know, in 51. Floor 51? Like Area 51? <laughs> oh. Oh, that was a wet one. <laughs> Hi, I, I hear your copier's down. Oh, it's back there. Thank you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> We're ready, Doctor. Save Gizmo. Save him. Millions of rats in New York City, but if one of them could power a portable radio for a month... Jesus! Oh, whoa! I'm not usually, like, jittery from spiders, but that thing looked awesome. <laughs> if only we could make it safe to touch them. I feel like that guy, the, the main professor, he's... I feel like he looks familiar, but I can't place him. Welcome to the men's room. Hope you wash those hands. Fully automated, huh? That's great. Did you miss me? Aww. Well, what were those guys doing to you? Wow, well, that bad, huh? Come with me, I got you. Take care of you. What a great movie. We can just end it right there. <laughs> it's perfect. Now, Gizmo, you have got to be quiet. I'll come back and take you home as soon as possible. It's him! He's here! He <laughs> here. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought he didn't show up in person. I'm all a bloodstone. It's okay, everybody, just uh, relax. This is first time visiting? I know I haven't been down here before, but that's gonna change. This is excellent. Isn't that terrific? What's your name? Uh, Billy. Oh, well, William Peltzer, sir. Uh, Bill, huh? Hey. Let's uh, lose those elm trees, though. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> uh oh. What's with that drawer? Uh, it's automatic. It opens every now and then, just in case you need something. Huh. I didn't know about that. <laughs> oh, he called you Bill. This is a career Very opportunity long. advancement window. For both of us. We can talk about it at dinner. Oh, great. But well, why don't Tonight. we go send them... I'm gonna send someone oh. to pick you up, okay? So just stay put. Ready? She took her glasses off. Gizmo is way too mischievous to stay in one place. He's like, no. Nope. I'm not going to be able to go out with you tonight. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I've got a meeting with some people. Some people? 
Gizmo's here, and... That he... furry thing? Oh, oh no, no, honey, oh. don't do that. I... You get to take him home. Take him home? Our home? <laughs> no. Well, where else are you going to put him? The rules. Remember the first one? Don't let them uh, get exposed to bright light. Not... Don't let them get wet. That's right. Mm -hmm. And the third one is don't, don't beat him let after them, midnight. Uh, eat after midnight. See, if he just came clean with her and been like, I got to go with so-and-so, he lied. It's going to cost the company for me to get a drink of water. <gasps> oh, gosh. Yes, Mo, get him away from the water. Oh, Billy's drawing. <laughs> oh, not again. Oh, Oh, that's the crazy one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh no, Billy's gonna get fired! Oh, that one doesn't look nice. Huh? <laughs> that came out of me? Oh, he could... He could fly with those ears. It's like a Dumbo. All the jungle around here. <laughs> Young guys. Are they all mean? <laughs> Gizmo Kaka? You were just born! Why do you... How do you have a grudge already? I like that one. <laughs> that goo? <laughs> His buck teeth. And this one. Oh my goodness, those eyes. The car with license number 1AG401. Please remove it from the clan parking garage. Your car is old and dirty. <laughs> what? Well, maybe the crazy painting one will be a second ally to us. But it looks like these three are not going to be. <sighs> no. mm, not the mama. <laughs> Hello. Gizmo, <laughs> you're so hyper. Hello. That's the wrong Gizmo. Well, Gizmo, maybe you should have stayed put, like Billy told you to. <laughs> Legs. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that yogurt looks so good. Gosh, I'm feeling so vulnerable with you, Billy. <laughs> when art and business join forces. Oh, well, I definitely feel that we should join. <gasps> Horses. This is a favorite Canadian dessert, the chocolate mousse. Can I cut you an antler? The chocolate mousse. Look, Marla, I gotta go. I got this appointment. Yeah. I, I just... Uh... See you, Mom. Hey. Yeah, great. Tell her that that is unacceptable. How about some horn? How about some horn? <laughs> yeah, she is horny. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> They did such a great job with this puppet. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't get over his eyes just swirling around all crazy like that. Oh! Her white blouse. Hi. I'm sorry I'm late. It's okay. What happened to you? Oh god. Where's Gizmo? It's in the kitchen. Oh. Hey, Giz. Guess who's room? Oh, this is not Gizmo. <laughs> hey, Santa. Oh, touchy subject. Sorry. But look at him. I mean, he's wired. Why do you have so many hostess snacks in your house? Honey, get in bed. Oh, these... Here so late. Oh, that's okay. The guy 
with the truck? Little pickers. Oh, yeah. Uh, the cake blew up. The cake blew up. I thought they died. Well, I'm glad they didn't. I mean, what if somebody got into a cab with a briefcase full of atomic secrets or something like that? Uh, Murray was a little distressed after, uh, you know, what happened with those. Uh, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, yeah, we, don't worry about it. They'll never come back. Ooh, your mom bet you an apple pie. Somebody sat on it on the bus. I'm sure it'll taste okay, though. And your dad's gonna <laughs> write you. He's got some new inventions he's working on. It. Yeah. Look, at, how about we call you tomorrow night and we'll get together and have dinner, okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope we see the mom and the dad, too. Because they were great. Both of them were great. Okay, so that's... Are you sure that is not good? Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's so good! <laughs> I would love, I just gotta say, I would love to to just be in a tub of M&M's. I feel like that would be a very pleasant experience. I don't know a furry thing. It's supposed to be health food. Yeah, extra protein. There. That's where the water comes into the building. I can't believe she hasn't said anything about his little escapade. Give me a video. Oh no, Billy! Hold it! Hold it right there! What's in the bag? Nothing. Yeah. Let's have a little look at that. <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh! Oh man, he lashed onto his nose. Listen, we gotta teeth. find him before he eats something. Ow. He already ate something. I know. I've dealt with them before. They wreck things. Oh, they wreck things. Ooh. Oh no. They're changing. A truck of mimes? <laughs> oh, Thanks, How'd you get me out of there? How is this gonna play into it? Meanwhile, where's Gizmo? Whoa. Oh, I can't wait to see what these guys all look like. <laughs> yes. Oh, they're gonna bully him. Oh. Experiencing some temporary technical difficulties with our illumination. Please try not to notice. Please try not to notice. Oh. No zap zap. You're up, honey. Oh, thanks. Good morning, Billy. Oh, hi. <laughs> Last night was so wonderful. Hello. Hi. Cute bat. She is gross. Billy, if we get through today alive, you're in big trouble. Yeah. But honey, you don't think that... Oh, Billy. Billy, Billy, Billy. <laughs> Poor Billy. They have cocoons. Well, no, they eat and then they go into the cocoons. Yeah, well, sure, you're going into a cocoon. You want to have a little something first. <laughs> Mr. Katsuji, please, could you get back in line? Yes, please, please. Right this way. We have our special salute to luncheon meats. Oh, the microwaves. The return of the microwave. With sherry. Some people use a dash. I use a lot. These bologna and bean dip roll-ups are so easy when friends drop over. Oh. I, well, it might not be too bad. I mean, I like bean dip and bologna is uh, mediocre, but I, it's edible, I guess. <laughs> 12 o'clock, it comes out. Now, he didn't eat that after midnight. What if they're eating in an airplane and they cross the time yep, zone? Yep, that's I mean, a good question. Midnight somewhere. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, my goodness. Oh, this thing looks... <laughs> he got socked. This is the guy with the Dumbo ears. He looks like a... Like, we're in Jurassic Park. Where are the other two? I want to see what the buck teeth one looks like. Before we had microwaves, this used to take forever. Tuna noodle, cheese product, chowder surprise. Is she just getting sloshed right now? Now, let's just move down. What's that? What's that? <laughs> Some of our chowder noodles. Ah, 
left. <laughs> that one looks like the one they brought home with the googly eyes. Oh, there's Buck too. I guess I think that is googly eyes. Oh no, you can't microwave metal. Well, I guess uh, googly eyes is not going to be our ally after all. Ooh. Stay here and die! I'm leaving! I'm going to the bar! Oh no! Oh no! Well, that sucks. I need a Polaroid. Oh. Who's that? A lot of. Whatever they are, they've got to respect the chain of command. No, they. Yeah, they have a chain of command, but you're not a part of it. I'm sorry. Did they get a hold of Mr. Whatever his name's Polaroid camera? Oh no, they're making Xerox copies. <laughs> oh, Gizmo. 38. Going up. <laughs> Sound alarm. <laughs> now, what's this guy gonna do with all this? Betty, did you finish shredding my mail from this morning yet? I'm just finishing, Mr. Clam. Let's, uh. Oh, let's do some memos. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, oh, that, uh, that big department store. We'll get to A mousetrap. House in New Jersey. Oh my god, that's dangerous. Where did the girl go? This guy has a great, like, expressive face. Oh! What happened to the receptionist? Is she okay? Oh, the shredder! Oh! Oh my god! Okay, it's starting! Oh no, Mr. Clamp's gonna get in there! Oh! <laughs> Sir, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. We have a situation. Oh my god. Sir, listen to me. <laughs> but when it gets dark out, they're gonna try and leave the building and, and get out into New York. He should be in custody. He's dangerous. He's dangerous. This thing that was in here a minute ago, that's dangerous. This guy's from the art department. <laughs> oh no, this poor thing, she's still stuck in the elevator. And she's super high up. Oh my god. An axe? Oh! Gosh, they're worse right now and meaner. Ew. Oh, here's Mr. Googly Eyes. Oh my god. How is she alive? Oh my god, they just all got squished. Oh. We'll, 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 we'll get the next one. <laughs> we have to put a lid on this thing and keep it on. No cops, no media. We'll handle this. You go down to systems control and get on top of this thing. Me? But there might be some physical danger. <laughs> Me? Physical danger. Okay. But I don't think I should try it without an expert. Let's go, pal, sir. Oh, now he's the expert. Okay. Hi, I'm Leonard Maltin, and this okay. is the movie Police. Just re-released on video is the movie Gremlins, though I really can't imagine why. <laughs> now, I know some people found this movie fun. Yes, me, me! I'd rather spend two hours having root canal work. Oh. This is kind of trash and has for fun. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute! Oh, I'm just kidding! Ow! <laughs> Velcro two for one special. Oh, Gizmo. Oh my. Oh no, gosh. what is that? It's eating my vegetable medley. What is that noise they're making? I think they're laughing. Then what are they, Martin? Oh. The virus? What on earth is going on? I leave you people alone for five minutes, and what do I find when I get back? I love this guy. I trust that's not the brain hormone that that creature's drinking. The brain hormone? 
Let's talk this over. I can get you diseases. <laughs> oh, thanks. Did he just flip him off? What are these sound effects? Okay, look, the sound in this movie is absolutely phenomenal. Is he really smart now? Can he talk? Moana. Talk a little bit about what's going on in this room, because I think there are some fascinating ramifications here for the future. When you introduce genetic material of research quality to a life form such as ours, which is possessed of a, a sort of a, I hesitate to use the word, atavism, but let us say a highly aggressive nature. For example... Bat. Oh, great. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Oh, genetic sunblock. Oh, so the light can't hurt him? Sunlight poses a problem for our uh, ethnic group. We don't tin, we don't burn. We just die. We can't let them get away. All they have to do is to eat three or four children and there'd be the most appalling publicity. Yes. Don't mind about the dead children, but the publicity. We can't have that. Don't let it get away! <laughs> now, now. This looks amazing. Wow, they did such a good job. Batman? Oh, no. Where are you going? Don't tell me you're going to a water source and all the ones that are spawned from you are going to have wings and are impervious to the sunlight. Please don't tell me. Actually, please do. That would be awesome. I hope that happens. <laughs> the fruit, the veggie one. I like how they have like unique kind of like abilities or things going on. Well, it's rather brutal here. We're advising our clients to put everything they've got into canned food and shotguns. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure about this guy at first. The talking gremlin, but I think he's really growing on me. Oh, I feel so bad for Kate. She always gets the short end of this. Like, she always gets the worst of it. <laughs> oh, there's, there's so many. Again. <laughs> if they bring back the leg warmers one, though, I th uh, this movie will be a 15 out of 10 for me. What a beautiful building. Beautiful. Futterman's. <laughs> hey, Kazimoto, you home? I love this guy. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh, Mr. Futterman. Oh, why is he going straight after Futterman? <laughs> Poor guy. Oh! Oh, Mr. Futterman! Oh, he's all scratched up. Why is she so happy? Oh, she looks so happy. He's gonna be a gargoyle. <laughs> Let's go. They love their toy stores, don't they? Aww. Aww. The, a, a camel? The horror. The horror. There's some things that man is not meant to displace. He is a problem, Tim. You're a problem. They're real. I saw them. I know. I've seen them too. The where? In my laboratory. It wasn't my own. What's going on? You're not Daffy Duck. <laughs> Bunny rabbit. <laughs> they love their movies and their toys. Nudie, nudie, nudie. <laughs> Volleyball holiday. Oh my goodness. This is worse than the first one. We just show these movies, madam. We don't make them. Those things have taken over the projector. They refuse to show the rest of the film. All they want to see is Snow White, the seven dwarfs. 
Alt <laughs> this is some crazy, like, fourth wall breaking stuff going on. Oh, yeah, Snow White indeed. We have gremlins in the projection booth. The gremlins in this theater. Hulk Hogan? <laughs> okay, you guys, listen up. People pay good money to see this movie. Do I have to come up there myself? Do you think the Grimsters can stand up to the Hulkster? <laughs> what the hell is this movie? Sorry, folks. It won't happen again. Thank you, Mr. Hogan. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I love him. Green creatures. Unfortunately, police are not permitting any news media inside the building at this time. But just as soon as we are allowed in, we will, of course, be broadcasting live from inside the building. I don't think you want to do that. Is he going to get his time slot back? Oh, it's this guy. Can you work a TV camera? Work a camera? I am a camera. <laughs> I love the the different characters in this one. There's some really good characters in this sequel. Oh, what did he drink? What in the world? Do not throw in face. Acid, do not throw in face. <laughs> what? What in the world? Oh no, this is where th th things go off the rails. We're gonna start feeling like we're all on some kind of weird drugs. Oh you see me? Yes, I see. Oh, this song. Ah. <laughs> Ew. Oh no. <laughs> Where did she get all the makeup and outfits? The shoes. Oh my god, she's humping his leg. What the hell? Why can't you commit? Ugh. Oh, his he's bleeding. Oh no, what is going on? No, leave him alone. Oh no, the gremlins got the guns. They love <laughs> bang bang. They love the guns. We gotta find Gizmo. Is the professor okay? Did he die? Oh no. Oh, that spider. No, not yum. Oh, what the, <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, what? All right, Gizmo, it's time. You gotta become you more. Gotta become more. <laughs> Let's go. Well, anyway. Then what's in there? I've been to Beirut. Yeah. Okay. I bet they miss you there. Now, the important thing is to keep this out of the media. And they twist it. Mm -hmm. And they embellish mm -hmm. it. And before you know it, you... you... From the lobby of the Clamp Center building, where this invasion by strange creatures... Are... Dracula? Dracula? <laughs> Are we getting a train? <laughs> We're getting a gizmo Rocky style training montage, please. Dun, 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 dun. You get them wet, they're only gonna multiply. Look, you gotta let me in there. I know how to deal with them. Get Mr. Futterman in there. Just take it easy. I'm not crazy. I was never crazy. I'm funny. Let me in there! <laughs> oh no, is that the bat one? I mean, the spider one? Oh, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> they got so creative with this. They're human beings in this building, real lives. Do you have any idea what kind of lawsuits we're looking at here? <laughs> 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 
They come in electric, too? <laughs> Is there any way that we could possibly turn all the clocks uh, ahead in the building, say, three hours? Bill, there is nothing we can't do in this building. Why? <laughs> but if we can fool them into thinking that the sun has actually gone down, well, then maybe they'll all gather in the lobby. Well, then we should make our move at, say, 420. Oh, I like 420. that. 420. <laughs> Won't they see the sun's still out? Oh, but that's the tricky part, sir. You'll have to take care of that. Me? You can do anything. Good. Blackout I finally curtains. get to use my secret exit. Is anyone still employed in this charming facility? I need some illumination in my office now. Oh no, the spider! <laughs> He's trying. You gotta become more. This is his secret exit? Oh my god. Hey, that's Clamp. Let's go. Oh no, his secret exit is. In the middle of the busy street, though. Oh, Futterman's gonna get in. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Murray? She's so, like, I don't know. It's very strange. What is this supposed to be? A bow string? Let's go. One of the creatures. Creatures. Is that accurate? Mm hmm. Oh. The creature, what is it that you want? Civilization. Diplomacy, compassion, standards, men. Compassion. What accent is this? We want the essentials. <laughs> Dinettes. Dinettes, yes. Convenient credit, even if we've been turned down in the past. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Googly eyes. He can't even see straight. <laughs> Okay, no. Is it safe? No, no, it's not. Billy. Put him in! <laughs> Get him! Get him! <laughs> Can I get some help here, please? Oh, Darling, God. it's you. Thank God you're here. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. About Billy, nothing happened. All right, it wasn't totally, completely, absolutely business. I'll be honest with you. Lady. I didn't get to first base, okay? It'll do. Here it comes, yes! <laughs> oh, God. A spider gremlin. I've seen it all. I was really having my doubts, like, at the beginning of this movie that it was gonna be able to reach the level of the first one. And I just love what they've done with this so much. Going down that easy though, right? Oh god, well. What happened to him? I don't know. I guess they pushed him too far. <laughs> He's a lean, mean killing machine now. Oh man. I wanted to see more of the spider one. That was my favorite. Washington didn't give up. Lincoln didn't give Please, up. Please don't mention Lincoln. Something terrible happened to me on you know, Lincoln's birthday. I was six or Seven and this man with this Honey, beard um, and a hat looked just like Abe Lincoln. I, I remember. Oh on. God! He said, "Hello, little girl." Honey, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Oh my God! Look, I'm sure The Godfather Part Two is a, an amazing movie, and I would have been watching it right now if it wasn't three and a half hours long. But people are saying like The Godfather 2 is like the best sequel. I'm sure it is, but this run for its money. Yes, sir. These vagabond shoes. 
These guys aren't bad. <laughs> Spider Man. These strange creatures now appear to be mounting what seems to be a musical number. <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 I-I-I <laughs> gotta hear her sing. Please don't leave it at that. <sighs> don't worry. In a few seconds, Mr. Clam's gonna drop that cloth. Are we ready to drop this thing? Oh my god. Divine intervention. Oh no. <laughs> Dining after midnight in New York. It's very specific. Actually, that probably is a book. Honestly. <laughs> he just turned into bones. Mr. Phantom of the Opera here. <laughs> These guys get out there in the rain. The city's going under for the third time. Oh. There's a fire hose around the corner. I want you to find it and aim it into the lobby, okay? What? Find a box for Gizmo, put him in it, and make sure he doesn't get wet. What is he gonna do? Guys. <laughs> just, just smoke your cigarette. That's, that's all you need to do. Oh. Oh, why did they have to make it look like jizz? Don't mess with Murray Fudd. Yeah. That's right. Keep your schlong juice to yourself. Turn it on. What is he doing? Billy, what is your plan? Okay. That's it. They're all wet and then he's going to zap them? Billy, you genius. <laughs> oh god. Gizmo is going to be so traumatized. Oh no, the talking one too? I wanted to hear the one chick sing. <laughs> what a world! The Wicked Witch of the West? They seem to be just melting into horrible little green and brown puddles. Yeah. But I can't say what it looks like on television. He just wanted, he just wanted a chance of getting good credit and, and just equal rights, you know? And watch out for those doors. They're a little bit tricky sometimes. Is that a clamp? <laughs> oh, no. Gross. With Daniel hey, hey, R. Hey, 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 wait a minute there, pal. I'm making you an anchor. Six o'clock weeknights. Six huh? o'clock weeknights. Yeah. What about my cameraman, yeah, sir? Get him off the caffeine. He's okay. <laughs> I'm a hit. My new head of public relations here will handle all questions. <gasps> what happened? Where's the camera? I cannot tell you. It was She's like, this is my moment. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. This is what I've been looking for. You want to buy it? No, <laughs> I want to build it. This is what people want now, the traditional community thing. You sell me this design and we're going to build the biggest, most <laughs> sensational. For Billy to do an entire town. Oh, we can come to a deal. <laughs> oh, What's that? Gizmo. Oh, this is Gizmo. You know what I see? Dolls with suction cups staring out car windows. A big <laughs> float in a Macy's Day Parade. I wonder if those were actual things that happened. Definitely something there. Maybe lose that headband, though. No, 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 no. It's flexible, Bill. <laughs> Home with Billy? What's that? HBO. What that? No. Nick at night? <laughs> FTV? <laughs> oh, that's what I used to watch. VH1, MTV, Nick at night. Wow, way up there. We'll do what we can, Forster. Just keep your pants on. That's very generous. Are his pants off? Half day off. 
Oh no. <laughs> Keep your pants on. They're ripped to shreds. But you know, she, she looks very beautiful on her wedding day. <laughs> He's thinking about it. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> that was so good. Christopher Lee. Well, that's a name that sounds familiar. But what do I... Oh, he's Saruman. No wonder he looks so familiar. That's awesome. I was like, he looks so familiar. I know those eyebrows, man. I know those eyebrows. And he's Ansem the Wise in Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> okay, yeah. So the guy who played as the um, professor guy in charge of all those exper experiments was uh, the guy who plays as Saruman, Christopher Lee. <laughs> in Lord of the Rings. That is so cool. Ah, oh, I loved I loved I loved all the actors in this. Everybody did so good. I loved the vampire guy, Fred, Grandpa Fred. His character really reminded me of so I know it's a kind of like a a spin-off of the old horror movie stars and like that era way back in the day. My only really experience or knowledge about it is through the movie Ed Wood. We have like Bella Lugosi, Boris Karloff, Vampira, and that reminded me a lot of all that. And so I really immediately felt drawn to his character because Ed Wood is one of my favorite movies ever. I was happy to see the returning cast of Billy, Kate, Mr. Futterman. I wish I, we could have seen the dad and the mom, Billy's dad and mom, because they were great. Even just like a small little scene with them back at home or something. But I really thought like, how are they going to, how are they going to make this? Like, how are they going to make this as good or better than the first movie? And I just keep thinking back to that damn gremlin in leg warmers. <laughs> And I thought nothing can top that. And I'm not sure if they topped it here, but they came really close. It was hilarious. And I also really loved the character and the actor who portrayed um, Mr. Clamp. He was super good. He was funny. He had these great facial expressions. Um, he just took everything in stride. And I loved the creativity of like, how can we take the concept of these gremlins, these horrific, terrifying creatures and make them even more terrifying and in all kinds of different ways. We had the gargoyle one, the one with wings. We had the spider. Those were my two favorites. Um, I liked the Phantom of the Opera guy. And Brain, what, at first I was like a talking gremlin, like I'm not sure how I feel about this, but the Brain gremlin was, was really funny too. And I kind of felt sorry for him at the end. It seemed like he could have been integrated into society, you know, as, as a, I don't know. I didn't know if he deserved to uh, die a horrible death, but um, it's probably for the best. <laughs> I always feel a little bit like, I always feel a little bit, sad for some of the gremlins uh, at the end of these movies but really they are just they're just a pest pests menaces very dangerous but yeah I guess they just had to go <laughs> they just had to go in the worst way possible with the electricity that was so creative oh and I about lost it when she started going off on about this story about Abe Lincoln a guy who looks like Abe Lincoln <laughs> Why does this girl have so many traumatic experiences with men with beards? That was that was such an amazing sequel and I had so much fun. Oh my gosh. So glad I watched it. All right. Well, that's it for Gremlins. I hope you guys enjoyed Gremlins and Gremlins 2. I certainly did. I am currently trying to get some of these sequels um out of the way 
So now that I finally finished Gremlins, I need to do the Evil Dead movies, the Tron, Tron Legacy, um, of course, The Godfather 2 and 3. And we need to come back to the Creed movies at some point, but I'm always listening to your guys' recommendations. I have a list and the movies that I see people recommending over and over and over again are definitely the ones that I'm paying like special attention to. Although it's really hard because I have like hundreds of different recommendations and it's like I want to do all of them really bad. I want to do all of them, but I can only do one at a time and it's very slow. But keep sending me you guys' recommendations for sure. The ones that you guys keep telling me over and over again are definitely ones that uh, I want to try to get to as soon as I can. And thank you guys for your patience. This is so much fun. This whole channel has just been <laughs> amazingly fun. And the Gremlins movies are like a highlight of like the fun factor. Like some movies, they like make me cry or they're just like really weird and creepy and dark. But the this is just hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's not serious at all. It doesn't take itself seriously. And it just goes so over the top. And I just... I. I have laughed myself to tears in the first movie and in the sequel. So bravo. Everybody did great. And thank you guys um, so much for watching. And please leave me a comment, some of your recommendations. And let me know what you thought about this movie and more movies like this that you can recommend. Thank you guys again. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.